Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Friday, October the 22nd. So we are one day getting closer to the day of going home. Now, uh, uh, in fact, today I would like to go through this uh, Psalm 23. In the tiny section, we have Psalm 23. There's a song uh, to do with Psalm 23. So, and then... Uh, the other v video, the Lord asked me to let everybody, those who speak Mandarin, who know, understand Mandarin only. So it's talking about the way, okay, to spread the gospel. The way to spread the gospel, gospel the best is by the way we behave, by the way we we appear to other people, you know, what we do and what we have, how to say, what we do in our daily life, you know, that is the best testimony. So... Whatever we say, whatever we do, make sure we glorify the Lord. All right, let's come to the next one. Uh, Psalm 23. So let me read Psalm 23. Uh, if you have Bible, please read Psalm 23 yourself also can. Okay, after listening to what I read, okay, I try my best, all right? So as you know, English is not my mother tongue. It sometimes it's a bit difficult, but I try, all right? So I do it only by the power of God, by the strength of God. Okay, Psalm 23. This psalm was written by King David, all right? By King David. So King David say number one, the verse one, sorry. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Indeed, when the Lord is our shepherd, we lack of nothing, right? Number two, he makes me lie down to relax in green pasture, you see? Abundantly, okay? He leads me beside quiet water. Her. So sometimes we need to be quiet. The Lord will lead us, lead us to rest in Him, right? Number uh, verse three, He re refreshes my soul. He refreshes my soul. Sometimes you just feel so tired and so on. And we talk to the Lord and you'll ask the Lord to refresh you. He will just refresh you, right? And then He guides me along the right path for His name's sake, right? So this why. Uh, over here is also talking about the way we walk along the daily life, you know, whether it is the right path or the wrong path, whether we glorify the Lord or we bring shame to God, right? So we make sure every day we live along the right path, you know, for whom say? For the Lord's sake, isn't it? So that is what David says as well. So verse 4, even though I walk through the darkest valley, even though I went through the hardest time, I fear no evil. I should not worry. I fear no evil. I just rejoice in the Lord. But sometimes it's difficult, isn't it? When you have things that is, uh, you know, when you see evil people, sometimes you get very irritated, very angry. Why the people continue to hurt God, isn't it? So, I will fear no evil for you are with me. So, we fear no evil for God is with me. Who can against me, isn't it? Uh, for God is with you. Who can against you then? Okay, so King David said, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your robe and your staff, they comfort me, right? Verse 5, you prepare a table before me. Okay, my computer again. You prepare a table before me, all right? And then in the presence of my enemies, in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. Uh, with oil, my cup overflows. Overflows. So Lord, you prepare a table, bef uh, prepare a table before me or before you, before everyone who loves the Lord. In the presence of his enemies. Well, you know that the devil sometimes go to heaven and say, accuse uh, brothers and sisters this and that, isn't it? Accuse him Christians, right? So you anointed my head with oil. Yeah, that is the blessing. When God anoint your head with oil, it's a blessing. The Lord will give you wisdom, knowledge. The Lord will lead you a victorious life, right? And you, the Lord will lead you, open your eyes when your head is is uh, anointed with oil, right? Your eyes open, your ears open, you know, to hear the word of God, to see the word of God, you know, to understand the word of God, maybe to see vision, to have dream dreams, right? Now, my cup overflowed. I mean, it's more than what I can take. 
yeah more than just like every day i see so many vision you know yesterday i had i was given more than 40 vision you know so my cup overflows more than what i can take in right verse 6 surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and i will drill in the house of the lord forever so this time when we go to the other side we drill in the house of the lord forever right and then even now we are drilling in the peace of God and now in the house of God and God is with us right so everybody we should carry on to continue to focus on Christ do not worry about anything in this world our hearts should not be in this world every day we get ready we don't think of anything in this world and also I come across I come across okay a mother and a daughter you know what happened you know, when they are in need financially, they will tell me, all right? I will send them money, all right? But they don't listen to the message. They, yeah, they open it, but they don't really listen, okay? And then yesterday, they told me that, well, if I rupture, I rupture. If I don't rupture, it's okay, you know? Uh, it's up to the Lord. I got so annoyed. You know what happened? And I told her in the end, I said, I will not be here for you, you know? When the rupture happens, I will not be here for you. So as she knows, I always send her, send her and the daughter money to help them. Well, I don't want to say this kind of thing, but sometimes when I get angry, uh, not angry, annoyed, you know, <sighs> to deal with this kind of people, their heart, you know, God wants to give them more blessings, so much blessing. It's not what money can buy. It's not what Lily can give, you know. It's God wants to give to them. And yet they say, no, God, you want to give to me, you give to me. If you don't want to give me, it's okay. I can still survive. Survive for what? Ask people to help? Well, she doesn't have a stable job. And recently she got COVID, you know, last, I think, two months ago, a month ago. And the daughter, too. Because she didn't want to have the jab. You know, the, the vaccine. And then, and then, anyway, I already told everyone, but she did not listen. That's why. That the Lord say, if you need to take the vaccine, take the vaccine. Pray before you take the vaccine. It's okay. Right? So I believe everyone are listening now. The Lord say, pray before you take the vaccine. It's okay. The government and the country ask you, you know, you have to take the jab before you can go to work. Well, you cannot against the government, right? Okay, why? Because it's you only, or maybe a few people, you want to protest, you're never ending, okay? So the Lord said, it's okay, you pray, you trust in me, right? The Lord asked us to trust in him. Just take the vaccine, all right? And trust that every day, whatever you surrender to God, even during the taking the vaccine, it's God is in charge. It's not we in charge, all right? So everybody, let's continue with the journal page. Amen. Now, we are going to the journal page on the right-hand side there. Uh, they are the visions that I was given within the four years. Very important one, talking about the day and the day, uh, talking about the day and the day. Okay, and remember, I keep on saying the same thing. The Lord say, no one know the day and the hours, even the Son of Man. Son of Man means when He was on earth here, right? So anybody telling you this verse, saying that no one know that I was not even the Son of Man. So why do I have to believe this? Well, tell them that the Lord Jesus said, not even the Son of Man. When He came to this world, He was the Son of Man. Today, we still call Him Son of Man because, yeah, He is still Son of Man, isn't it? But he, most important, He is the Son of God. And He is God Himself. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three in one. They are in one family. And they cannot be separated, all right? So, please, don't let anybody deceive you by using this, ver uh, this verse, okay? And a lot of things they are out of contact, many things, you know. That's why today a lot of Christian, majority of the Christian are still sleeping. Sleep, okay, very happy to sleep, resting. Okay, they have to uh, they don't have to well move close to God, do not have to pray, do not have to worship, do not have to read the Bible. Well, go to church once a week, or maybe once a week just uh, turn to the Bible and read some verses that's done. Wow, this kind of Christian, we are so sorry. 
they are like Rhodesia Church, okay? Now, everybody, let's look at the right-hand side of the journal page. So I don't want to, uh, I just make it very fast and very briefly, all right? In order to save time, I know some of you, maybe you still lack of patience because not, well, not like some in the Chinese uh, section, you know, they've been trained for four years. So no matter how long they still finish the, vision, uh, the video, right? But I don't know how many of you here have that kind of patience, all right? I don't mean to hurt you, but it is the truth. You know? I always speak the truth. It doesn't mean that uh, I, I need to please anybody. We don't need to please anybody. We need to please God. Make sure we do the right thing every day, okay? God say 40 minutes, 40 minutes. God say 30 minutes, 30 minutes. God say, I want you to say this, I say this. God say, you want you to say that, I say that. That's all. Whether people want to get angry or not, well, only God knows enough, okay? So everybody, I love you. I love everybody, you know? If I do not love everyone in this world, I cannot be an intercessor, right? I cannot be an intercessor praying for the world. Today, I cannot do this work. And God is my witness. I, I forgot. Yeah, on number one, I saw the vision, uh, the word war, war means God. I am who I am. And then God said, I heard the Holy Spirit say, I, believe, I trust in you. So, I be appointed to do this work because God trusts in me. If God can trust in me, who <laughs> can against God then, isn't it? So God gave me a very great comfort yesterday to see this vision. And it was yesterday, this sister really hurt me a lot, you know, because I long for, I pray for her, long for her to get rapture because I don't want her to stay in this world to suffer, you know. Even now, she is, she financially unable to handle already what to say about after rupture and her her, her daughters has got epilepsy and so on so you can see a family like this husband already passed away because she left the husband okay and the husband uh after a few years the husband passed away but anyway i don't mean to hurt uh, to say much about this sister but it's an example of how a person can hurt god until a point like this you know and i just cannot imagine but anyway we carry on so it's on the next month november the 5th and 6th are uh, these is uh, the 6th of november the west 5th of november are two expected day to go home all right but at the same time okay at the same time it is because of the time zone all right next one uh, November the 5th and 6th is the same as the Jewish Kislev, Kislev September. Kislev is the ninth month, okay, first and second. It's also the same as Chinese calendar, the 10th month, the first day and the second day of the month, all right? So 20 years then for salvation. That's the vision that I saw written down 20 on this two parallel line. This two parallel line can stand for 11, 11. And I put on 9 because at the 9 o'clock position, so you can see it's 911. What does it mean by 911, everybody? Judgment is coming. That just like America, 911. Everybody know 911 is the judgment, isn't it? So it's coming, right? And we have to go. Now, next one. On the 8th of September, I was given a vision, many visions, but one of them is about the Jewish calendar. So, uh, and then I met with the calendar. Um, okay, the uh, real calendar here. I not uh, it's physical one. Okay, so it is in a uh, uh, Tishri first and second. There is Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Shavet is on. Uh, sorry, it's on Thursday and Friday, and then Kishlet is on. Um, the Friday and Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, there's a 5th and 6th of November matching what we know. And then the next one, three days later or nine days after the first confirmation that we are going on on the 5th and 6th of November. So that day, there's 911 as well. So at 4 o'clock, 56, again, 5, 6, 4 stand for heavenly Kingdom, 11 stand for November, September forever, right? So I was given this uh, Gregorian calendar. On, I saw six lines and then six weeks. Okay, the first line I saw one, two at the Friday and Saturday uh, column, all right, position. And then I saw the last line is 31st and then one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that is from October into November. So bingo, they all match, okay? So over here, we have three witnesses already, through three witnesses each other, okay? Now next one, 
uh, so the blue line, the blue line written down 15 is because I saw the Lord put the uh, ruler along this side here. And then I also did it the same. And then I, the Holy Spirit told me that it's to do with the days remaining. It's getting closer and closer. And when the Lord put the ruler there, I saw a red dot. Okay, so a red dot. And that's why, uh, that, that's why I did the same did the same that's how i got it now we have entered the final 15 days all right in fact today is friday we're expecting the fifth of November is also friday that means it's less than 15 days 14 days plus because the west is expected to be night time the east expected to be saturday morning time all right so 10 10 is the time that i saw in front of the father's desk all right just in the air like this and then 2 15 well uh I, two means going home 15 days well this is to do with a vision that i saw written down 246 and then 246 it started from the september 20th uh, be, uh okay and then carry on until november the 6th is 46 days or november the 5th so night means very late already green color means go and then keep watch we are watchmen on the wall so we have to warn people we have to get ready children and baby friends and relatives even the children and babies okay everybody everybody try your very best because it's already coming to the very end all right so next one maybe you say lily i don't see a lot of sign maybe if you don't watch news you don't see a lot of sign you, you look at the weather is changing okay the government in every country get very worried because now they are very worried about this coming winter why because this coming winter is going to be very cold extremely cold don't say and that's why every country get ready they'll gas okay they'll call their gas if you don't watch news you don't know you have been watching news you know this been out for about a month already every country every uh country's government uh want to store energy now need to store energy from the winter okay now this when I we thought about this i remember on the 18th of december 2017 i was taken to and fro uh the new earth right and then the uh the the last day that morning or afternoon i was given a vision a vision i saw america america not canada i'm in canada but the map was on america okay usa america i saw every state there okay very very beautiful color with different colors and then i saw what happened the snow coming down the snowflakes coming down, snow coming down, snow coming down. And suddenly they got people's body like wrapped in gold in, in orange color. Orange means Holy Spirit, isn't it? So wrapped uh, uh, in orange blankie like this, you know. Just and then it, the, the body like this shut up from different part of America. And after that, stop. And then you know what happened? No more. I did not see any snow but i saw the whole map of america went white totally white and i knew at that moment that it is like mini ice age coming so everybody and then a month ago until now every country still thought about energy and many other things but this energy preparing for this winter is one of the issue actually and there are many many big issues okay financially and war and so on you know the outer space getting sick and so on all right let's move on uh if if you have friends and related your family members they don't believe they don't want to get ready they don't care got rupture they rupture no rupture is okay god i just let you do the work for me okay then this kind of people you better prepare ask them to prepare some food okay make sure don't let people know that uh, you, they are storing food okay because when people go hungry they can use knife they can use gun to go into your house or rope you on the way and so on say so that is very dangerous and this is to do with the vision that the lord gave me uh, not yesterday, the day before, all right? So ask everybody, those who want to left behind, make sure prepare some food. When there's starvation, there's famine, famine, and remember, there are robbers as well. And of course, yeah, we feel sorry for the robbers, but they may, most probably, they use gun and knife or anything sharp to frighten you, to ask you for food, okay? 
and money and you don't give them maybe they have to kill you right so just keep be ready for rupture now next one i got 17 17 is vision okay 11 11 i already explained in the past v, uh, video so you can go back to that now i want to come back to the vision that i saw yesterday let's come to the number one there i just now i say already i saw war and then later hours uh i think it's about 13 hours later yeah 13 hours let's see three no 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 uh three twelve maybe six or uh four plus three seven hours later i heard the voice of the holy spirit it's really audible voice okay it's not what i sense or what i believe or what i i think i hear no it's really men's voice really men's voice you know uh, i have a female's voice i don't have male voice okay so that is really male voice from the holy spirit it's not as loud as the other day you know i heard the other day say May God okay that is very loud okay i believe that is from our oh, Lord Jesus Christ. And this one is from the Holy Spirit say, uh, okay? What does it mean by 我相信你? That means I trust you. I trust you that you finish the job. I trust you that you are telling the truth. I trust you that you do everything to please God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right? So, people, uh, if anybody wants to hurt me, it cannot hurt me. You know why? Because when I have God, what else do i want okay i lack of nothing anymore so next one uh, on the journal page okay i saw a journal page when i see journal, journal, uh, when i saw journal pages uh journal page yesterday quite a few times okay i saw very colorful journal page like what we have even more colorful than what we have now the muslim pink color all right and then i saw uh, supposed to be one two three that on the top one and i saw the lord draw a line a pink color using pink highlighter just draw a line like that and this line is very similar to the one below can you see the one below in the middle you go down there below notice that one the line like this is this is similar to what the lord drew, drew okay and then uh later uh just straight away later i saw in the red uh, highlighter that line i saw five five so five stand for grace i believe it's also staying for the 5th of november that is the west going home now next one uh yesterday very uh, after 12 o'clock midnight i saw the orange color you know with like a seven okay perpendicular seven all right 90 degree turn 90 degrees seven and then inside they got what got uh like snow oh it's snow isn't it it's a snow okay but um for me in the vision is i saw the snow coming down and the snow stopped as soon as the snow stopped i saw the body going up okay so that just like snow okay now i realize it's like snowflakes okay and then got six uh six petals like this six petals means six of november that's the east going home now next one all the sixth day is friday there is the fifth of november then i saw the lord's hand holding a note a white note right and i saw two fingers behind the two fingers is the last two fingers last two fingers is the no name and the baby finger no name can stand for seven and then uh no no name a uh, no name seven and then last finger is six so it's 13 that means stop okay ending coming to the end and then uh the thumb is um means five grace coming to end all right now next one is uh i saw the bible it's bible with the english word okay the bible and then because i read english bible normally but because of the chinese i begin to read chinese as well all right now uh is is a bang bangle you know bangle uh bracelet bracelet is like chain you know that have doesn't have fixed shape right but this bangle is has a round shape it's hard solid one okay round shape and then it's gold all right and it's tied to the bible so what does it mean by that they mean the promise of god the covenant of god covenant with us you know uh covenant of god with us okay let's do it the rapture is fixed is to stay is to stay and the daily given uh, the lord has already given us the day so the lord said is to stay i'm not going to change anymore 
it's to stay. And then later on, and now it disappear and then come back again. And so this uh, bangle again, by this time, is so close to me. And the Lord, uh, how to say, let me, the Holy Spirit, let me to focus on the 7 o'clock and the 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock and the 8 o'clock position is the opening of the bangle. bangle. You know the bangle, you have to open it, right? Then you can go put your hand in, all right? Your bigger space for your hand to go in. And uh, when it's in your, on your wrist already, you have to uh, push in, okay? Make sure the the circumference is smaller so that it will stay on your wrist, all right? It, stay, it will not come out, right? Otherwise, it will be out of your hand. Then it will be uh, lost. So it's at the seven and eight position. Seven and eight position. So seven and eight, seven means divine completion. Eight means home, going home, heavenly home. All right. Now next one. If you look at the time, it's three fifteen. Three stands for stop to finish. Okay, to finish, and then fifteen stands for rest. Okay, so when this finish, we are entering rest, eternal rest with our body. But this. This uh, corruptible body will be changed into incorruptible body. This body full of sickness, full of problems, will be changed into a body that is 100% perfect. Okay? No sickness, no illnesses, okay? no, uh, how to say, defect or anything on our body. We have a new body and the, our, our mind, our soul, okay, our spirit stay the same. Only the physical body will be transformed, okay, from this uh, very sick body to a very healthy body, perfect body. Now, if you want to ask the Lord to make you, to give you a slimmer body like me, I've been asking the Lord because I'm overweight too much. So I ask for the Lord for a slimmer body so that I can climb the tree, I can move around, okay, I can run very fast enough. Maybe can fly too, okay. Now, next one, uh, I saw a spatula, wooden spatula at the position in the middle of 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And then there's a spoon at 5 o'clock. In fact, these two is talking about the same thing, you know. So... Uh, five o'clock going up is eleven. So eleven, the eleven, the fifth. All right. Now the one between, yeah, the one between, yeah, you know, the east comparing to here is half day ahead of us. Okay, half day. So and then we'll go to finish, and then next one two chopstick. Okay, one chopstick uh, heading up to zero twelve o'clock. Is the six six heading up to twelve and which is zero? So it's the sixth of November, and then in fact, if you look at the last circle, the last circle, the twelve o'clock one is the fifth of November. So on the thirteenth position is on the one o'clock position. It uh, should be the sixth of November. So this is talking about the Lord say, still stay, still say, stay. The mean the promise in the Bible is abide. Is a bind that is not going to change, all right? The day that the Lord gives to us is fixed. And then, if you look at 11, 11 stands for rupture, 11 um, uh, stands for rupture, and also 11, what any other significance? 11, I think the other day we read uh, 11, it to do with, uh, I can't remember why it is. Anyway, so 5 and 6, 5 stands for grace, 6 for uh, men, okay? So the God's grace to mankind. God's grace to mankind. In fact, two lines eleven is also parallel means going up. Okay, going up. Now, Lord always send the angel two by two. All right. So we have the east and we have the west. That's right. You got two, two, one. Let me eleven. Now, next one. I think the other day we went into Psalm eleven or Isaiah eleven. All right. Now, next one. I saw a river. Okay, I saw a river at night actually, but I could still see the river and two sides, both sides got trees, all right. And then uh and then I saw a red line. The red line was moving, okay, it's coming to an end. Now when we when I was drawing the pictures, wisdom came to me. We are on one side of the river, okay? On one side of the river, we are going to cross the Jordan River into the promised land. All right, so we are on one side. Maybe we are on the left hand side, okay? Left hand side, and we are going towards the right hand side. See? That is the Jordan River that we need to cross, and it is like a I, the the one word that we can use is the Lord using is Passover, okay? Now, in fact, the Passover celebration for the Jews it begins when 
when the angel of death you know passed by every home and those jewish family hebrew family they have a uh, uh, blood of the lamb on the lamp post okay on the door post then the children will be healthy the next day but the is uh, egyptian the firstborn they did not put this blood of the lamb the children the firstborn was killed right all the firstborn were killed now then the egyptian king saying okay then you can go i don't want to keep you anymore otherwise he never want to let go of the uh, uh, of the hebrew of the is israelite and israelite at that time they were slaves to the king to the country isn't it to the other egyptian now next one uh i saw a boy about three years old okay i could see the eyes but beautiful eyes nose only up to half all right and the head and then his hand was more or less like uh, reaching the shore <laughs> one hand reaching the shore another word means when our right hand reach the shore we should be on the other side all right and then next one i saw a thin leg okay i could see the sole the lower part of the foot okay the sole there and then there is also the right hand side the right side okay that mean by the time is on the right side now it's on the left this circle is talking about the left and the next circle is the last circle it is the right right side circle that is the time to go home finish the circle we go home and then there's an uh, arrow pointing to the east uh, that is in white bright light color white pure light color okay now next one i saw a uh, uh, a white sheet okay written all the chinese character i think it was about uh 20 lines or less than 20 lines okay of words and i did not focus on anywhere except there was a square there written down what does it mean by okay si mean 10 it could stand for for the cross okay it okay uh, it means home this is the new beginning all right so 18 here, according to the Chinese calendar, is talking about the cross. The cross means Lord Jesus on the other side, okay? Those who are willing to take up the cross and follow Christ will go to the other side. And then there's home there waiting for us. And then you can see, 8 is the beginning of new life. It's the beginning of everything. 8 is an 8 step of beginning. Like uh, this week, we finished this week. Today is uh, Friday. Tomorrow Saturday, the last day of this week. And then next, uh, and then Sunday is the first day of next week. All right. It's the eighth day. Now, next one also saw 8 o'clock. 8 tick tick zero zero. Zero zero can stand for uh, the east zero, west zero. There's the fifth and sixth. And then this zero, I've been thinking, you know, it could be because yesterday, last night when I was upstairs wa uh, washing the, the dishes, suddenly my head turned to the clock. And it was something like 8 something. Then remind me what? Remind me 8.18. What is it by 8 18? It could be the east is going home at 8 o'clock, right? About 8 o'clock. It could be 8 18, all right? And we here, 9 o'clock, I also saw a number of times 9 19. We are 9 o'clock, maybe 9 19, all right? 9 o'clock, 19 minutes. But I also saw the vision yesterday. The Lord wrote 19, but this 19 on uh, the second one is one coming down and then zero is supposed to be a line coming down but this zero coming down is very short very short okay very short so what does it mean by that mm, maybe some places is not even up to a 919 maybe a plus minus i can say now next one i saw like uh, every day's journal page and then on one column there i got i saw a, a glass yeah it's a glass and then there's a, a big dog there okay it's like full stop so this glass the mouth is bigger circle the bottom is smaller circle isn't it so we are now in the smaller circle or in the i don't know maybe the top one is talking about uh october and the bottom one smaller one is talking about november because november we are just up to the 6th of november right it could also means you know to me it's talking about the month the top one is talking about up to the 6th of november the bottom one can means these few days then we finish the bottom one, and then we go to the mouth of the glass okay and then there's a full stop later i was given a vision with a green full stop okay and then written down seven so what is my green full stop green let me already go full stop 
Okay, then the next one is the 7th. 7th of November, okay, 7th of November is Sunday, all right? That is the first day, is the first day of the new life, all right? So after the full start, then we start the new life. The old life over, okay, new life on the other side. Now, next one I saw, in fact, yesterday I was given, as I said already, more than 40 vision. Uh, but I over here, I can only manage to put how many, uh, maybe... 18, 19, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 5 plus 11, 5, 5 plus 11, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 plus uh, 2 words that I heard, okay, 2, two fa phrase, phrase, yeah. Okay, next one. I saw the YouTube, like YouTube.com, something like this, you know, I saw YouTube.com and so on. I believe the Lord was reminding me that the last day to put up on the YouTube channel is 5.13. What's it mean 5.13? 5 could be, uh, I'm, to me, I believe it's 5th of November. Because we are going in the, at, the uh, uh, at night, right? So morning time, I can still ask Kevin to put it up, okay? Uh, maybe put up the Thursday, one, uh, the 4th of November one. And then stop. After that, no more. And then I also heard the, uh, the audible voice say, Zhao, 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 so what is Zhao? Zhao means to call out. The Lord will call us out, you know, call us out of this world to recruit us, all right? And then right after that, I heard the voice, a uh, main voice, to pick up, to pick up. Zhao, and then to pick up. That means God call us call us out of this world and then he said to pick up he will pick us up so for those ready saying will be picked up to the other side all right so everybody get ready we should be ready for home